My friend was once uh, attending an interview um, for a job, and someone said to him, don't worry, just be yourself. And he thought, well, I'm myself when I'm sitting on the sofa in my pants playing Mario Kart, so do they actually really want me to be myself? Um, so my name's Lizzie, and I work for the Student Christian Movement, and my talk today is on how to be yourself. I'm not an expert, but I have some thoughts that I'd like to share with you. So here we go. Thinking about my opening story, I first want to say that being yourself is about context. And you can be yourself in lots of different ways, in work, at home, with friends, multiple but integral parts of who you are. You could be professional you, school you, home you, but it doesn't mean that you're necessarily compromising who you are. I think if I spoke to my boss the way that I speak to some of my friends, I'd probably get a slap. So, uh, you know, <laughs> it is about context. I think being yourself isn't that easy. We live in a scarcity culture, a not enough culture, where you're not skinny enough, you're not strong enough, nice enough, or charismatic enough. Some of us also carry the heavy burdens of shame about parts of who we are. Learning to love yourself and accept yourself is a long and a hard journey that for some people takes a lifetime. I used to go to a church where I was constantly told, Jesus loves you, um, <laughs> and uh, therefore you should love yourself. Um, but it's just, it's not that easy. Um, if only you could just, you know, click and sort of realize that. Um, and that kind of sentimentality and naivety about the challenges young people face in learning to love themselves um, and therefore experience the love of God can actually hinder growth rather than spur it on. I, at that time, I felt that if I couldn't feel God's love, then there was something wrong with me. Instead, I wish that I had been challenging concepts about what the world wanted me to be, what my church wanted me to be, and what my family wanted me to be. Being ourselves sometimes means conflict and discomfort because people want us to stay small so they don't have to face their own fears about who they are as well. It also means pain for us because in order to truly love ourselves and to be who we are, we have to accept the dark parts of ourselves as well as the light parts. When we accept our imperfections as people, we can actually be free to be ourselves because external worldly demands don't grip us anymore. The word sin and sinner has got a bit of a bad rep because it can be used to shame and blame people. But when you strip it back and actually say, I'm imperfect, but God loves me anyway, I am enough, that's when you can actually experience the amazing grace of God and let others be themselves too. I have a bit of a beef with social historians who take away the funny side and everyday struggles of our big, biggest heroes, whether it's Martin Luther King or Jesus or Hillary Clinton or Richard Branson. People can make these amazing figures really serious and kind of strip them of their humanity and we just get sucked into their biggest moments of fame and achievements and block out all the small struggles that they had to endure. The cross and the I have a dream speech came after many, many small moments of truth-telling and courage in everyday life. It is not one big act of courage that allows us to be ourselves and set ourselves free. Every day we have the choice to honour ourselves or betray ourselves. How we feel about things matters. Our voices matter. It's not always clear about what parts of ourselves we should share in certain situations. And um, me and my boyfriend ummed and ahed about whether I should um, say that I'm a rape survivor in this talk. Um, I could grip the audience with my story or turn them off as they think that I'm trying to um, ensue some kind of pity or sympathy. And then I wondered, is it possible to do a talk on how to be yourself without sharing who I really am and being honest in the process? The truth is, is that a lot of the time you won't know until you try. 
And I cringe inside thinking about the many times I've been totally unprofessional or emotionally dumped on others. I mean, have you ever met someone and just thought, dude, too much information, like calm it down. Um, <laughs> but being yourself isn't just emotionally blurting out everything about your life to people. Your life and your story is valuable. People have to earn the right to hear your story. There are many quotes about love, but my favorite one at the moment goes something like this. To be loved is to be fully seen and to be fully known. Not Clinton's cards or flowers or Taylor Swift, Romeo and Juliet songs. I saw Sinead O'Connor last night, and a line, one of the lines in one of her songs was, everyone in the industry wants a piece of me, but nobody wants to know me. I, I thought that was really relevant to this talk. Being seen actually um, <laughs> looks a little bit like this. This is me chatting to my friend. I really messed up my green belt talk. No one laughed at my jokes. Um, they thought I was attention seeking and it was awful. Oh my God. And then my friend saying, yeah, man, that was really bad. <laughs> Dive bomb. <laughs> um, but let's sit down and talk about how we can make it better next time, because I know that you have more to offer to the world than one green belt talk. And to me, that's love, being held with compassion in that space of shame and where we're most broken. Everyone needs two or three people in their life who love them because they see us for all that we are, the good and the bad, but because we also see who we are, not through our own kind of internal workings out, but through the eyes of others. We're so busy trying to impress people who don't actually really matter um, that much, instead of tr in trying to impress our best friends. You're like, dude, you're my best friend, so you're always gonna be around, I don't need to like impress you. I need to impress that person over there. Um, <laughs> But actually, impressing our best friends or the teacher who actually gives the monkey about how we do well at school or our partners who value us and keep our stories and our, and our hurt safe is the most important thing in the world. And that's the thing that actually builds you up and allows you to be, to be free who you are. Labels can be useful and empowering, but not if they become everything that we are. The gay Christian, the atheist, the loudmouth, the shy person, the geek, party animal, druggy, conservative, liberal. Labels can narrow others and our notion of who we are. I often wonder if Desmond Tutu likes pizza or crazy golf, um, because he's not just this kind of great preacher or social activist. He's a complete and whole human, and we, we are all complex creatures. We're, not, we're more than just that one label which we choose to give ourselves or others give to us. In my work with the student Christian movement, I am moved every time a student puts up their hand to say, I don't understand what you said. When a young adult dares to put their thoughts online in a blog post or leads prayer for the first time, when we're ourselves, that's when we get to unleash the gifts and talents that God has blessed us with. To be yourself is to be honest. Admit your wrongdoings and use your voice. We can't actually control anyone else's behavior. So we need to look inside ourselves and say that it starts with us. There's no answers of how to be yourself that come in a neat package because we're all different. We're all unique and beautiful human beings made in the image of God. So don't look for someone who has all of the answers because the answers are usually here and not out there. Some of the greatest treasures that we will ever find in life, justice, self-esteem, achieving your life goals and having a sense of control, they come with time and with patience and with hard work, but they are so worth fighting for. 
So my last piece of advice, um, if I have any, is to be gentle, kind and patient with yourself and to mess up beautifully every day. Thank you very much.